Hello students, today's lesson we'll be focusing on area problem solving and the learning objective will be able to solve uh, problems which involve area. Okay, our real life links and keywords remain the same and the equipment needed for the lesson will be pen, pencil, ruler and an exercise. Right, now coming on into the lesson. First things first, couple of easy examples for the most basic of problem solving involving area and this is to find the shaded areas in, in a shape. So if we look at A, the green shape, um, we are looking for the area of just the green section, just the green colouring. And the way we, we find the area of this is, first of all, I've labelled the, the green section shape A and the white box within it shape B. So we need to find the area of each. And the area of shape A is going to be 9 times 11, which is 99 centimetres squared. And the area of shape B, as you know, is 24 centimetres squared. Now, because we don't need the area of shape B, we just need a green area, we can just subtract um, 24 from 99 and that will give us 75 centimeters squared. Now I want you guys to, using the exact same method and, and layout, can you try um, the yellow box or the yellow shape in your uh, books now? Um, so pause the video now and have a go. Okay, what we should have done is 56 subtract 12 which equals 44 centimeters squared. Now, what I want you guys to do is try both of these questions. If you look at the question on the right, it's very similar to the one we've just done. And the question on your left is an area of a compound shape, um, but I've done the split for you. And instead of having an L shape, um, we've got a triangle and a rectangle together. So can I ask you guys to pause the video now and have a go at these two questions? Okay, so we should have answered these two questions by now. And yes, the first thing we do with the question on the left, so we've got a blue rectangle and a green uh, triangle, and we need to work at the area of each. So we know that the rectangle is 24, and how did we get this 5? If you think about it, if you look at the 12 centimeters going down the vertical line, we have got another one which is going the opposite side, but it's only 7. Um, so what we do is we're going to do 12 subtract 7 which equals 5 and that is given us the base of our right angle triangle. Okay, so we can do 5 times 6 which is the base times i and then divide that by 2 and that will give us 15. So we have the area of the rectangle is 24, we have got the area of the triangle, now we just add those two together and that will give us the area of the compound shape which is 39 centimeters squared. And for the second question, very similar to the one you did on the last slide, we work at the area of the wall, which is obviously 12, and then the area of the door, which is 2 times 1, nice and easy, 2. Now, because we only need the shaded area, the grey area, we don't need the area of the door, we can subtract that from uh, 12, and it's going to be 10. So the answer is 10 meters squared. Now, um, for these questions, I will simply go through the first one on your left and you will try um, the one on the right. So we know that the area is 40. So what we need to do here is we know that if the area is 40 and we have to get the area, we do base times height. So we're going to do 5 times 2x. And we know that 5 multiplied by 2x is 10x. And because they've told us that the area is 40, we can now say 10x equals 40. And in order to solve this is a simple one step equation which we did last week uh, we just divide both sides by how many x's there are there are 10 x's so we divide them by 10 and that will tell us that the x equals 4. i want you guys to pause the video now and have a got the question on the right okay we should have answered this question and what we would have got is 12 x equals 60 and divide both sides by 12 uh, which would have given us x equals 5. Now, moving on, slightly trickier problem-solving questions. Um, if you read the question, the pattern above is made from six identical rectangular tiles, and the total area is 48 centimeters squared. We want the area of just one of those rectangular tiles. So the first thing we do is, if we know that the rectang uh, six of them equal 48, we can call rectangle R to start with. And, and as I said, six of them equal 48. So we can say six R representing rectangles equals 48. And again, it's a simple one step equation. The more difficult part was actually creating the uh, equation. Okay, so now we can just divide them both by six and it will tell us that R equals one, uh, eight, eight centimeters. So the area of one rectangle is eight centimeters squared. Okay, I want you guys to pause the video now and have a go at this question. 
Okay, what we should have first of all done is called square s for square. And we know that 4s, which because there are four squares, equals 120. And now, as I said, uh, it's a simple one-step equation. We divide both sides by 4, and we would have had s equals one, or, or 1 square equals 30 centimeters squared. Going on to the difficult part, the main part of the lesson, um, my example, what I want you guys to do is read the question, first of all. Mrs. Phillips is going to cover the floor with floorboards. One pack uh, will cover 2.5 meters squared. How many packs of floorboards does she need? So the first step, we need to work out the area of Mrs. Phillips' living room. And in order to do that, I've split the shape in two and I've called uh, them A and B. So there's, I've created two shapes within it. Um, and we know that the area of shape A is 6 times 2, which is 12 uh, meters squared. Now for B, what we need to understand is that it is 3 meters, not 5 times 2, is 3 times 2, because we only need that little section where the split has been done. And if we add those two together, um, 12 plus 6, that will give us 18 meters squared. That is the total area of Mrs. Phillips' living room. Now this is the key part, step 3. We need to divide the total, which is 18 meters squared, by the amount that one pack covers. So we're doing 18 divided by 2.5, and that equals 7.2. Now, if we were to put our final answer that Mrs. Uh, Phillips needs 7.2 packs, that would be incorrect. Okay? We would lose a mark because you can't, there's no such thing as 0.2 of a pack. So we need a whole number. Now, the question to ask is, if we say Mrs. Phillips needs 7 packs, Will she have enough floorboard to cover the entire living room? And the answer to that simply is no, because she needs slightly more than seven packs. So therefore, Mrs. Phillips will need eight packs. Now, I know what you're thinking, 7.2, hold on. If you round that to the nearest whole number, it's seven. So why, why does she need eight? As I explained, if she has seven, she doesn't have enough. So therefore, we need to go up. So be very careful when you're dealing with these questions. For this example, very similar to the last one, I want you guys to pause the video and have a go, and we'll come back together with the answers. Okay, so in short, um, the total area of the dining room was 15 meters squared, and we're dividing that by three because each pack covers three meters squared, and that gives us exactly five. So therefore, Jill needs five packs of floorboards. Okay, well done if you got that one. Now, this is the main activity. And what I want you guys to do here is, obviously using a uh, ruler and a pencil, you're going to draw these shapes. So the red one is a compound shape, you need to just simply work out the area. Um, the yellow one is something we did at the start of the lesson. Um, remember, there's a door and a window, which, which obviously would not be painted. So those are the two things that we need to um, um, not include. The paint will be covering the white section in this case, not the shaded area, the white section. And for the green section, um, we've got another compound shape, but we've got a, a problem solving situation that we need to try, similar to what we did in the last uh, couple of examples. So that's the, your three questions for the main activity. Make sure you obviously um, draw them out clearly, take a picture and upload it to class shots and that will complete your learning for today's lesson. And that's all, see you in the next video.